What's up, y'all? Janique TV here with another message. Now, if you did check out the last message about watching the company you keep, you need to go check that out before you watch this one, right? Or after. It's up to you. But this message is going to piggyback off that, right? It's going to talk about your cutoff game has to be strong. That's what God said to me. Your cutoff game has to be strong. You cannot be afraid to lose people in this life because at the end of the day, everybody's not going where you're going, right? Everybody has their own path, their own journey. Everybody makes their own decision and everybody Everybody is responsible for the life that they live, okay? You cannot blame other people at certain points for what's going on in your life. At some point, you have to take the driver's seat, take the wheel, and start being the driver to your destiny, okay? You can't allow anybody else to be responsible for where you end up, okay? So your cutoff game has to be strong, okay, period. If people are supposed to be in your life, 111 um on a timer on the clock if people are supposed to be in your life they will be in your life right your spiritual journey will not run them off it won't run them away it won't ruin their relationship it'll allow them to understand that you now have boundaries right you now have something in mind a vision right that you have to get to right and you can't let anybody stand in your way and if people don't understand that they're not the ones for you anyway the people who are for you will understand what you're going through and they're going to stick by your side no matter what happens no matter how much distance goes between y'all you ever had that friend where you can call them after a few years and y'all still pick up where you left off i love people like that because they understand like i have a life too my life does not revolve around you you know what i'm saying like i have stuff to do i'm busy I have a life of my own to create in my head. My life does not re revolve around when you want to talk, when you want to go out with me, when you want to hang out, when you want to come see me. That's not how my life works. My life works for me. And if I have time for you, I'll make time for you if I want to. But if I don't want to make any time for you, you have to be okay with that. And if you're not okay with that, guess what? My cutoff game is strong, period. I cannot talk to anybody. Like, it's scary how... how quickly I can detach from a person but it's necessary and I thank God for blessing me with that because I'm a strong believer in in being independent and when I say independent I don't mean I don't mean I don't want a man one day who who will marry me and take care of me right because that's everybody every woman's dream let's be a, let's be a hundred let, let's be a hundred <laughs> Let's be a hundred ladies if you're trying to act like you don't agree with me whatever get off my get off my video but let's be a hundred right but what i'm saying in terms of independent even when you're in a relationship there should still be some level of independence that you have you know between you and your partner right it should not be a codependent relationship because i don't want you to think that if you leave me that i'm going to die because i'm not <laughs> i'm not i might think about it for a few days but i'm not going to die i'm going to get up and keep moving because there's a better day ahead there's some new people that you're going to encounter your cutoff game has to be strong because in order for new people to come into your life yes guy Mm -hmm. in order for new people to come into your life somebody gotta leave you gotta make room for people how else are you going to call in what you want if you still have what you don't want all around you it doesn't make any sense how do you want a good man a loving man a loyal man right a man who is going to sacrifice for you a man who is going to commit to you compromise with you you know what i'm saying a, a man who is going to be your equal how are you asking god for that but you still have these ain't as men you know what i'm saying you, these these men around you who ain't doing nothing for you it makes no sense make it make sense that's what god is saying he'd be looking at you when you be asking for that he'd be like <laughs> and i'm guilty of this so i'm not i'm not i'm not shaming anybody for who they choose to be around but i'm just trying to help you see a different way right your cutoff game has to be strong you can't be afraid to lose people do you remember a time when you didn't have that person around you that you're scared to cut off right now like you've lived without them before you can do it again right <sighs> you know what's funny is sometimes people will cut themselves off for you because god understands that you don't have the heart to do it so when people leave your life you have to be grateful for that and understand that there's a bigger plan at play here everybody's not meant to be in your life 24 7 sometimes you're meant to learn a lesson from a person and keep it moving keep it pushing right there's some people i don't ever want to talk to again I don't even want to talk to them ever again in my life. Like, I've had enough of that person. You feel me? Like, and at, at some point, you have to come to an understanding of where a relationship is, where it's going or where it's not going, and what you should do to go ahead and take control of the future of that relationship. And when I say take control, I mean cut it off or have a conversation so it can improve, right? 
So don't really get upset that you have to cut people off when God tells you to cut somebody off because I know God be urging some of y'all. That's the only reason I'm on here making this video because my cutoff game is strong. So I don't need this message. <laughs> I don't care. God tells me to leave somebody behind. I have to because at the end of the day, I know from experience and this goes back to my last video. If you keep the wrong people around you, you can go nowhere fast. So we see this all the time in movies, in, in books, you know what I'm saying, in, in people's life stories all the time. When you have the wrong people around you, it can lead you nowhere fast, right? And we all want to get to where we're supposed to be going. You don't want your time to run out and you haven't done anything the Lord has called you to do. You understand me? I hope you understand me and I hope you got this message today. Don't be afraid to lose anybody. The only person you truly need is your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Okay, that's the only person you need is God. That's the only person you need in your life. And he's omnipresent. He's everywhere. He's everything. You know what I'm saying? That's why when certain things happen, you have to give God his Lord for things happening. He's omnipresent. He's literally everything. He is his phone. He is... He is my, you know, my computer. He is my my Bible. He is everything. God is omnipresent. He's everything. Okay? Let that stick into your head. I'm going to talk about that or, or harp on that in another video. But um, that is all I have to say for this message. Watch the company you keep. And also make sure your cutoff game is super strong. Okay? You can't let people play with you. Because if you let them play with you once, they'll play with you some more. And then before you know it, you're going to be playing the game too. And that's not what we on. Do not engage in the game with people do not engage in the game remove yourself from the game and the game stops right we're too old to be playing games i don't know about you but i definitely am and i'm not even 30 yet we're too old to be playing games y'all for real okay get with the lord pray to him ask him to remove people from your life i'll be watching people fall out of my life or people not talk to me anymore and i'll be trying to figure out like you know what what's going on or that's how it was back in the day like what's going on why is this person not talking to me like what's happening whatever and then when i started having a relationship with God to understand that I'm praying this prayer for God to keep people away from me with bad intentions right and these people are no longer in my life there's no coincidences I don't believe in coincidences you know what I'm saying I contribute everything to the Lord he guides all my steps and he plants every single detail of my life and yours too that's the reason why you're watching this video okay I hope you got this message if you didn't that's okay maybe this is not your message but go ahead and check out some of my other messages make sure before you leave this video you click that like button and also click subscribe and the notification bell so you don't miss an episode of what I'm doing here I'm Janique this is Janique TV and I'll see you in the next message